At every point of decision, there's a moment of doubt. You know, that moment when you ask yourself, what am I doing here? Why am I doing this? I can't do this. I get asked a lot, and I've even asked myself, why climb a mountain? For me, it's a way to get out of the busy and artificial environment of today. The mountain is a place to escape. A place that's so simple, yet so complex, it affects us in many ways we can't even expect. I'd say climbing a mountain is more than being stupid. In fact, it's not about being crazy at all. It's, it's about taking on a huge challenge and conquering it. Your worst fears, your inadequacies. The mountain is just there, calling you, saying, Take me! Every time I climb a mountain, a sense of peace and relaxation come over me. No, not physical. It takes a lot of work and sweat to reach the top. It's a kind of mental peace. A peace where I can enjoy the view without having to worry about the distractions of everyday life. It always makes me think about God and how small and insignificant we people seem in contrast to the mountain and the world and how much He cares about our everyday needs. It's a real perspective adjustment. I mean, when you look down and you see clouds below you, when you begin to see the curve of the Earth just a little, you, you get something of an idea of just how big this small planet is and how awesome the Creator is. And you're thinking, man, he's got bigger stuff out there. Sometimes when it gets hard, I start thinking, why climb anymore? Why not just stop, turn around, and go down? It's the unknown above. It's calling. No, it's beckoning me. The call of the mountain. Yes, that's it, the call of the mountain. Come up here and check this out, or look at this amazing view from here. Or, check this out, it's challenging to get through here. The mountain gives me a challenge, a challenge that I can work hard to conquer and look forward to achieve. Isn't there an element of danger, you might ask? But isn't there an element of danger when you're driving or walking down the street? It all comes down to what amount of danger is acceptable. When I climb, I have the different hazards that could be present in the back of my mind. Every situation makes me think of things like, this better not happen right now, or what will I do if this happens? I always try to minimize the risk, either by using the right equipment or carefully selecting a route that avoids the dangerous area. To quote Ed Feasters, it's a round trip. Getting to the summit is optional. Getting down is mandatory. There's always risk involved. It's just deciding which ones are worthwhile. Climbing the mountain, yes. Free soloing and jumping from this rock to that one, maybe not. I mean, you're always a bit nervous, and that's good. It helps in the process of assessing what is acceptable risk and what is unnecessary risk. Well, for some people that means not climbing the mountain, but for me it means I may not be able to move as fast or stand as straight as my partner on this particular section, but if I persevere and do what I can, I will reach the top and return safely and tell stories about it. This drive to reach the top, no matter what the cost, has led to some of the most tragic accidents in climbing history. So while climbing, I'm always evaluating whether it's time to turn around or not. Is the danger of going on too great? Will an accident mean serious injury or death? The mountain will be there another time, but so must I, so I can come back and enjoy it.